Okay. I don't want to do this. I so don't want to do this. I don't want to post this video, but I have to. The car lights. Okay. So I'm sitting here and I hear a neighbor call my name and I go out. Hi, what's going on? Your window is open. My window is open. Um, here it goes. Yes, we all do stupid things. I sure do. And unfortunately, we've got the internet now where we can post those videos showing how stupid we are. Okay, the passenger window was halfway down. When I got into the car to put up the window, it's night. It, it was nighttime last night, but today it's daylight. What do I see on my dashboard? Paw prints. A cat was in my car. And a cat must have stepped on the hazard lights for them to start blinking. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. Um, I appreciate everybody's comments. I'm sorry that I even wasted your time on this. Um, I never leave my car windows open, but I must have. So, you know, it's really fascinating reading comments. Um, to those who state definitively that I am a targeted individual, you can't state that definitively. I can't state that definitively, even though I've had, well, my life has just become more and more surreal. Uh, it's it's truly a like a Kafka-esque life. And I have wondered if the sudden change in people from and the last experience I had with someone, it, it really, I'm still devastated by it, kind of shell-shocked by it, uh, yeah, even traumatized by it, because of, you know, I don't want to get into um, why, but people have, in my life, those close friends, began behaving in ways that resemble so closely the malignant narcissistic family, the gaslighting, the manipulating, the rewriting of your reality, the uh, they doing things that are so obvious that it's clearly wrong and they pointing the finger at you as if you've done something wrong. It has been a head flippy experience, but an experience that I've had now over and over again. And when I hear people who are talking about these frequencies and the targeting of individuals and how, and I've done the research myself, I know that they can alter one's perceptions, opinions, uh, and make people behave in ways they would not ordinarily. I've wondered, but I can only wonder because I need hard evidence to say something is happening. I don't know. I also understand psychology. I understand psyche. I understand shadow in an awful lot of people. I understand how when you do not do that work on yourself to understand why you behave the way you do, you're someone who is living your past. Whether you come from, you know, uh, the family that is clearly 
uh, a, just an experience of trauma, or you come from the dysfunctional family, you are set on a trajectory to become an adult filled with a lot of unresolved issues from your past. If you do not do that work, that those issues will crop up in your life. M many refer to that as the shadow, the subconscious that people are unaware of. They behaving in ways they don't even understand why they behave in the ways they do. They don't understand that their past is still present, still working on them, all those issues, whether it's uh, having to do with uh, experiences as a child that you know they were very shamed at certain points or um, regardless of You know what happened. We all have that within our own self, still active. You know, it could be growing up in a family where love was conditional. It was set on you behaving in a certain way, and then you'll get love. So you become an adult, where you are forever kind of hardwired to behave not of your own choosing but you're behaving in a way that will get you that approval and there's an awful lot of people who really need the approval of other people in their life and when you call them out on a behavior that is it's obvious that it's wrong, you see how many people are incapable of taking responsibility and then working on themselves so that they don't behave in that way any longer because the behavior actually creates an awful lot of you know, problems for other people. Um, Instead, what they do is point the finger at you, you're the one who's wrong, um, and they're not understanding that it's all tied to their past. These unresolved issues get in the way an awful lot. So when you have done that work, you understand that people who cannot tolerate being wrong, they have to be right, you get that they have never done any work on themselves, they have no clue who they are, they're disintegrated, they're behaving in ways that they're not even aware of, um, they don't understand why they're behaving in that way, uh, but everything is a defense against ever accepting that they can do something wrong. How do you know? When you understand all that, when you understand that people, um, yeah, they do do an awful lot of really bad things that end up um, really hurting other people devastating other people is it that they have been altered to behave in certain ways towards the targeted individual that will leave them in a worse circumstance more alone more isolated and feeling <laughs> an awful lot of not good stuff or is it just that they they're like that that you know yeah you know, people can have a shadow that can actually uh, 
manifest a whole other personality. It's like they have two personalities. So one person can be sweet and caring and kind and uh, compassionate and generous. But then their issues begin to manifest. Very often it's when you call someone out on, hey, you know, could you stop lying? Could you look at why you're lying? I need you to look at why you're lying. Now, that's just one um, behavior, but there's many different kinds of behavior. If they can't do that, they can suddenly start acting like a whole new person that you, then you're left with not even knowing who the hell they are. Well, we've got a lot of people in our country and the world who do exactly that. I cannot state definitively what the hell is going on. That's why these weapons are so unbelievably dangerous because they are invisible and when they are being applied, they can create so much damage. And they can shut people up. They can actually end up so isolating somebody because of other people's behavior toward them that They've become completely and utterly ineffective in this war that we are in. Now, so, you know, when I see comments that, you know, tell me I am targeted, I've spoken to subscribers and they have said it to me, you are targeted. You don't know that. I don't know that. Um, people who left comments saying that it was my car alarm um, when I said that I disengaged my car alarm. Um, and I didn't do it for any other reason other than my car alarm was tricky. So I went out west in 2009, but every time I had to, um, there were times when I thought my car alarm was not off. I would just you know, run into a store and run back out, and I'd set off my alarm because I didn't understand that it was activated. So I just disengaged it for no other reason but that. It was just a pain in the ass. And um, so, and I don't even have, you know, one of those remote openers. Yeah, I, there's an awful lot that I just, <laughs> I, I have never needed and I don't want and I try to limit the complication in my life than just continue increasing it. And these car alarms, boy, um, they are being set off more regularly here and I do wonder if it is the frequencies. I will tell you that twice in Great Barrington in the exact same place I got back into my car. It was, I would park in this field and just let my dogs out. And when I got back into my car, I thought the battery was dead. Nothing, nothing happened. I mean, it was like, okay. Um, I ended up having to walk home. But when I returned, the car started twice. And I posted a video on Cop the Windsor World about that. I absolutely do believe it was the frequencies that disengaged everything in my car for a time period and then it just started again. So, um, do I think frequencies can turn on hazards? I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, it's embarrassing to admit this. Um, it it had to have been a cat that got in my car, 
the cat paw prints were right smack on the dashboard. And many, when I have come out and said, uh, um, okay, I said something wrong, I need to clear it up. There are many people who say, don't be so hard on yourself. It's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal. It is a big deal. Now, am I hard on myself? No. Or maybe I am. But I'm hardwired for it. I don't know. Why is it a big deal? I post a video. And I get a lot of people commenting. They thinking I'm targeted. They thinking it's the frequencies with the... Um, doing something, you know, with the electronics in my car, whatever it was. If I don't clear that up, then the posting of the video, it's not just me posting a video. It's me getting you guys involved in that experience. I don't clear up the truth of that experience. I just let it slide, then you go off with your belief or you're thinking this, or you're thinking that, and it just hangs there forever. It just, you never resolve or settle that experience. It just hangs. Well, what then have I done? I've allowed you to think certain things, but I've never cleared it up for you so that you can get to the truth. The truth just happens to be that I'm stupid. <laughs> and yeah, it was as simple as a cat. Do I like doing this? No, I really don't. But it's important and I wish more and more people would do it because resolution of everything is very important. And it is a requirement of all of us to do that so that we manifest something other than what we have. We manifest truth that way. And sure as anything if we can't fess up to these stupid things that we do, we sure as hell can't fess up to what's really important. And yeah, you know, do I like having posted on social media how stupid I am? No, I don't. But it's, I also understand we, we all do stupid things. None of us can claim that we've never done something you know, stupid that brought embarrassment. So that mitigates, you know, some of uh, the embarrassment I have in posting a video like this, but it's still hard, right? Because we never want to appear stupid. We never, but look, no one is perfect. We all know that. And especially in today's world. All right, so we're all facing so many things that are happening that we can't quite reconcile, you know, with just like, all right, with what is good, with what should be happening, you know, the frequencies are causing a tremendous amount of mess in our world. We really do need to clear this kind of stuff up. Because I, I do think that it injects fear in some people. You know, I, look, I am not afraid of this kind of stuff. I'm just not. Um, I don't have any fear. You know, even if the window was closed, there were no cat paw prints on my dashboard, I still wouldn't be afraid. I don't have that kind of, you know, fear. So for those who said, you know, let go of your fear and just accept Jesus as your savior and oh, all right, look, you're presuming something about me. Now, yeah, 
when your lights just start flashing, you're like, what? You know, so it wasn't fear that I was expressing. It was kind of a shock, a surprise. It was confusion. It was, why is this happening? Um, that's all. So, anyway, <laughs> I brought you into it by posting the video. I have to settle, resolve um, for all of you the experience. And, yeah, you know, I, I do say that I'm sorry a lot. You know, when I post these videos clearing things up because, well, on one hand, I feel like I'm wasting time. You know, your time, you come into my stupidity. Um, but look, you know, this is who I am. And I'm not posting, you know, as a reporter or anything but just as a human being um, posting things it, you know it's just I'm just me and I see you guys as just you and that's it alright guys yeah ah. <laughs> cat in car ciao